Hi there! Today's tutorial I prepared in response to multiple requests to show my way of retouching fine art portraits from the beginning to the end. Let's begin! In camera row, usually I just check the white balance and exposure. My histogram shows a little bit underexposed image, but that's because it is low key. So now temperature, I will pull a little bit towards yellow and tint towards green, just to give that kind of nice uh, painterly colors. And opening it in Photoshop. In Photoshop, first of all, I copy background and start working on major skin problem with a couple of my favorite tools spot healing brush tool and healing brush tool so with spot healing brush tool size of the brush small bring it closer just drag your mouse along the hair and all the stray hairs you will remove similar way Once you removed all the stray hair, you can start working on the skin. And I prefer to work with healing brush tool. You have to pick the healing brush tool. Make the size of the brush as small as the problem area. And by holding Alt or Option key, just copy the part of uh, the skin that is healthy and apply on problem place. Next step for me will be liquify tool. If you never worked, I advise you to start because that's a great tool you can do so many creative things with that so go to filter liquify there are many tools on the left above corner and you can actually play with them someday and understand what they do uh, but for now it's enough for us to work with the single forward work tool just manipulate uh, the pressure, density and size. I need to a little bit pull her hair, just a little bit create more volume. And that's it. Let's check our progress before and after. Yeah, that's much is enough. And let's now remove dark circles around the eyes. We will do it with the help of Dodge and Burn. And for that we need to create a gray layer. We are going to layer new layer and we select mode from normal to soft light don't forget to check fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray press ok and here is your gray layer for safe work with dodge and burn tool let's begin with dodge tool If your eye is not trained and uh, you're kind of uh, in confusion what exactly needs to be removed, you can create a help layer black and white. Just press on the adjustment layer black and white and pull towards left red and yellows. 
the responsible for skin till the face looks horrific. Now, a part of her natural freckles, which I really love, I'm going, not going to remove them, uh, but you can see a kind of uh, grayish, dark spots, you know, in between. Go to your gray layer, pick the dodge tool, and just dodge it slightly. Now we don't need this help layer black and white, you can delete it and see before and after. Have a look at the result. I find here uh, we have like a little bit too dark um, place, it looks like she's frowning <laughs> and angry. So let's, let me highlight here as well a little bit. You have a risk that the colors in the place where you worked with Dodge is going to change. So we're going to fix that as well. Not to worry. I can see the color change and became like grayish and whitish. Yeah. So now we are going to work a little bit on the eyes as well. Now let us fix the colors. We create an empty layer and from normal mode will be soft light. Pick a brush, just the regular brush tool. With the help Alt or Option key, we are going to pick the nearby color, the skin color, and gently apply. Yep, it's going to be too much. So let's reduce the opacity and gently apply on the place where you feel the situation happened. I can see it's over here, it's over here, wherever we used dodge. So let's have a look at the work we've done. Let me group all these three layers. By selecting them and pressing Command or Control G. So this is our group, this is before and after, before and after. Next step is the texture, but before uh, applying the texture I would like to add two, three hairs for the eyebrows because it's looking a little bit bold. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary, but you can join me and do it. For that we are just creating a single empty layer and taking a brush tool size 1 hardness you can leave it 0 opacity 100 flow 100 as well hold alt or option key and copy the color of already existing eyebrows always keep on copying the original color of the hair. Once you're satisfied and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's blur our eyebrows a little bit. It shouldn't be sharper than um, original brows, original hair next to the drawn one. Something like that. Press OK. Now you can see before and after. Just a little bit, but makes a lot of difference, trust me. The final step will be applying texture. I already have a video on it but probably I did not explain in previous video how we can change the colors of the texture. So let me close the group and pick my favorite texture. Let me copy it by pressing Command or Control A, -E, Command or Control C and then go to your image and Command or Control V to place on top of the image. Now, Command or Control T 
for transformation right click inside your uh, selection and you can rotate it whatever clockwise now the colors actually matching so I don't bother to change them I'm just stretching it on top of our image I'm now going to opacity and minimizing minimizing as much as you need if you don't like that kind of threads effect uh, texture of the fabric so you can go to filter blur Gaussian blur and apply some blur till that threads uh, texture disappear yeah something like that press ok create a layer mask pick a razor tool make your brush bigger even bigger and uh, with opacity about 70 80 and flow 100 we are going to start erasing from the face of our model if you would like to return something you can just change the primary colors switch them over here or by pressing X key so by switching you can anytime recover back your texture you can see the difference and a small X course to before and after I'd like to show you how to change the texture color this is another image with different color of background so the texture I'm going to apply the same okay now image adjustment hue and saturation and here in hue and saturation you can actually play with your colors you can make it exact color of your background or overall color of your image so something like that maybe but less saturated we reduce the saturation something like that press ok command T again for transformation let's stretch to the corners same work opacity reducing and the same th process you're going to make all over again by erasing from the face of the model hair and so on whatever you like but you can uh, you got my point uh, how easy it is to change the color of the texture and I hope you will create with the help of this tutorial lots and lots of art pieces please Feel free to write what else you would like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching. All the best.